All right, in this video, we are doing grade four, module one, lesson five, in which we are comparing numbers. Only uh, there's a lot of tricks out there that a lot of people teach. Um, we're not going to teach tricks. We're going to try and really focus on teaching the actual meaning of decimal. Uh, de yeah, decimals and place value and all that sort of stuff, right? Uh, and then using that definition of, def of decimal place value, then students are going to be able to compare numbers and they're not going to need some sort of trick. Now here's what's going on. Uh, so first let's take care of these two numbers and we want to compare using either the greater than or the less than or the, well, let's see, greater than, less than, or the equal symbol, all right? So the classic symbols, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of these two digits in a place value chart. So I'm going to create a quick place value chart. So here's our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and then hundred thousands. If we wanted to, we could go to millions, but we don't need it. But there you go. So there's my place value chart, and we're going to put these two numbers in the place value chart. Okay, so let's start with this one. So we've got five, zero, 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 one, two. And then let's get this one up here. Five, zero, 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 two, two. All right. And now we're going to compare these two numbers column by column by column. All right. And we're going to start way over here at the largest column. And we can see that each of them have two copies of the hundred thousands. So right now, these two numbers are tied, kind of like. And then we can go to the uh, ten thousands column. And we can see that this second number down here has two copies of the ten thousands versus one copy of the ten thousand automatically. That makes this number, this second number, larger than the first number up here. In fact, here's a crazy thing. We, if we wanted to, we could change all of these numbers after the one here. We could change every single one of these to a nine. We could go nine, 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 and it doesn't matter. Because once this two beats the one in the ten thousands column, everything else, just essentially in terms of the comparison, doesn't matter. So that is how we are going to compare numbers and by thinking of them in the place value chart. All right, let's put it into practice. Let's take these five numbers up here, one, two, three, four, five, and let's compare them by putting them in order from least to greatest. All right. So we're going to eventually have one, two, three, four, five, least to greatest. And what we're going to do is let's put these numbers in a place value chart. So here's our ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, eventually our students aren't going to be making these charts anymore. They're going to be able to see the charts in their head. But right now, we're just making the chart to make it all visible. All right. So now we're going to put our numbers into this place value chart. Let me get my cool colors here. And in no particular order, I'm going to start here and put this guy here. And this guy. And then this guy. You still on the screen? Yes. Woohoo. All right. Then we're going to do this guy. And lastly, this number here. All right, in terms of going from least to greatest, all right? So now we're going to start from our thousands and we're going to work our way to the smaller place values. And we can see uh, that, okay, we've got a seven, a five, a, oh, a blank. So that means that's a zero right here. And then a five and a seven. So automatically, we can see that this number down here is the least. So that's 750. So we're done with 750 and we're done down here. So really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase it from the board. We don't need it anymore. All right. So now we're still comparing and we're looking for least 
and we've got a tie. So here we have five copies of the thousand. Here we have five copies of the thousands. So what we need to do is we need to go into the next place value down, smaller. We have zero copies of the hundreds, zero copies of the hundreds. So it's still a tie. Now we've got to go one step even further. Now we've got zero copies of the 10 right here. We've got seven copies of the 10 here. That makes this guy the least because zero loses to seven. So now we've got our next least number. So I can cross that guy off and really I kind of raise him. And that automatically means this guy is next. 5070, 5070. So I can cross him off. 5070. And I can extend my columns. So we could go back. And we've got a tie at the thousands. We have two uh, that are both having seven copies of the thousands. Then we go next door, and it's a tie again. They each have five copies of the hundreds. So we go next door, and now we have our tiebreaker. This zero loses to this five, so he's less. He's uh, Between the two, he's the least. So that's going to be 7505, so 7505. And that's this guy. And by a process of elimination, 7,550 is our greatest. Now that is how we're going to be comparing numbers in our Engage New York using uh, really place value understanding rather than tricks.